So two down. Now it's the power speed combo. Brady Sizemore. This guy one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. Bounce to the right side. Whips it to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Lynch back to work. This to center field. Taylor coming on. That drops in. Plays it on a hop. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Fly ball to right. Lopez racing over to make the catch. No, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the Two outs, nobody on. And up next for Cleveland, Brady Sizemore. Batting third, the center fielder, Brady. Swings one. through that one, 0-1. Oh, and one. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. And here it comes. And a swing and a miss. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. He swings and fouls one off. To first, and they've got him picked off. To second, and he's out. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. And that is that. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. You and I got a chance to broadcast the 2019 All-Star Game, and the city of Cleveland did such a great job. I felt like wherever you turned, there was some type of ad for the All-Star game, a face of one of the players playing in the game. I thought the city overall supported the event really well. Swing, and he breaks his back. He beats it out, and the tapper turns into an infield single. And they tag him out. Next pitch has popped up. Witt pulls that one down. So up next. So in now for Cleveland, Brady Sizemore. Batting third, the center fielder, Brady Sizemore. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Puts the... We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And that's a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. On the ground to first, Pasquintino takes it himself. Stepping up for the Guardians, Brady Sizemore. Batting third, the center fielder, Brady Sizemore. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Up the middle, Lopez picks it up, and that will end the inning. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Ripped on a line. 
Taylor racing over to make the catch. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Up the middle. And that's the third out. And here is Grady Sizemore. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Grady Sizemore. On the ground, right side. And he can't come up with it. He decides to eat it, and they can't get the out. And first offering is fouled off. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Up against the wall. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And that one wrapped foul. Next offering upstairs. All right, Siggy, trivia time. Back when this ballpark opened, 1994, one future Hall of Famer hit the first triple in the park, and another hit the first homer by a Cleveland player. Think you know who they were? Okay, I know that Ken Griffey Jr. hit the first triple here, but first homer for Cleveland. Uh, give me a hint. Switch hit. And up next for Cleveland, Brady Sizemore. Batting third. The center fielder, Brady Sizemore. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. And the inning. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. Lifted in the air, out to left. Isbell settles underneath it, and there's one down. You think back to 2017 and Cleveland set a. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Well, it looks like he just got out of himself a little bit right there. He's looking for a ball in, and to attack that pitch looked like a half hearted swing. On the ground. Wide throw pulls him off the bag, and the inning still alive. Two outs, space is empty. Grady Sizemore, the next to hit. The batter, the center fielder, Grady. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult. Especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Foul ball. Left-hand hitter waits. Right side. Dozier under this one. That is the inning. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Lifted in the air, right center field. Dozier makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. That one fell to the lead.